Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Argentina! So guys, we are playing in the Populated Man mod, and last episode, if you guys didn't know, we expanded from being just this little tiny nation, to being this nation! Yeah, we just, we just honestly took a vast, vast amount of land last turn, and I'm pretty sure that means that we're not gonna be able to do anything for like the next couple years. So, let's just sit back, chillax, and just honestly work on our clergyman population. Because we want to make sure that we have a- No, never mind, let's not work on our clergy population, because our clergymen are exactly where I want them to be. And that is good. <laughs> that is honestly good. So, now that we're done with our clergy population, what our next, next natural focus should be is actually we gotta start um, having our bureaucrats rise up to power. Yes, the bureaucrats, the people everyone hates in the world, but they help our they help our government become great and honorable and <laughs> uh, just kidding, they just help us pay better taxes, so yeah, let's get them! So, we're gonna put this on to like speed, couple good speed, ah, I hate that beginning game crash, it really doth stink, I really wish I didn't have to deal with that, but for some reason the game always is like, yeah, your car is going to crash right in the beginning! I'm like, oh, come on, I, I really, you really can't do anything, and you really can't do anything about it either, that's the worst part, is that once this game crashes, you can't do anything, you just have to wait until it recovers by itself, and then sometimes it doesn't even recover, so if you have a really healthy economy, it's like a big F you to your face, and you're like, oh, uh, see, and I already know my economy can't quite tank as much as I want to, uh, what I'm probably going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to include education a little bit lower because I don't, I do believe we can't go into debt just this quickly in the game. I mean, we did go into debt, but we can't go into more debt. I mean, I don't mind, I don't mind owning private investors in the Bank of Argentina. They, they, <laughs> they're kind of used to me just doing random things and we just finished up with these guys. So yeah, the good thing about like Argentina's land and trying to get like affected bureaucrats everywhere and getting enough to, you know, be a hundred percentness. Is that since we have so little land and so little population in almost every other, you know, region besides just our main capital? Like, look at this. Our region, our most maximum region is 179.92k. Uh, the next region's half of that. Not, not even half of that. That's like a one fourth of that, 58.99. It basically means that we can just do, basically means that we can just get a lot of our national focuses done really quickly. But that also means, at the same time, that this deteriorates at a very rapid speed. So, hopefully that won't happen, but we'll see. Anyways, we have our army chilling out over here, not taking any nutrition, I'm hoping, because at this point, if we were to take nutrition, all these soldiers would just die. Not, not to be rude, but they would just die. <laughs> okay, so we have a good, decent economy starting to shake up. Um, we need to start bringing down tabs. If I don't start bringing down tabs now, we're going to have a difficult time. A very difficult time. Uh, what else? Let's see. We're about 17th in the world. That means we just became a civilized nation again. Hoorah. And what I have to be wondering is, what is it looking, what are the world's powers looking like in terms of prestige? So, the biggest prestigious nation right now is 175. Okay, that's not too bad. We could actually achieve that. Why, why are you guys wondering why I'm wondering about uh, prestige? It's because, oh look, what are you done with this one again? <laughs> See what I mean? This is like the most... Actually, I'm going to wait until that reaches 1.0 because I want to make sure I have 1.00 because I want to make sure that when we're um, doing the bureaucrats of 0.54 for our next bonus to uh, research, we can have that bonus too. But why am I wondering about, like, uh, what was I just wondering about? Because it's important. <laughs> uh, no, there is a reason why, but I don't... My brain is really, really scattered. And so, I forget things at an insanely fast rate. I've already forgotten what I was going to say. I am very sorry to you people, but I do not remember. <laughs> so, but for right now, we have a pretty good economy. Three, two, one, zero. Okay. With no tariffs being brought in, I'm hoping I can sustain myself completely on taxes. Completely sustain yourself on taxes usually can help you out. Colonial efficiency, good. Oh yeah, culture-wise. That's what I was thinking of, culture-wise. Um, what we're gonna do is basically just going to let me make sure do I do it now? Do I need any of these? Definitely don't need any of these yet. Um, yes. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be trying to take down tank down all of these kind of technologies so that we can um 
so that we can like get some uh, you know more advanced stuff like prestige the five percent prestige bonus which you know if we were a great power right now we'd be like oh that's so stupid why would we need a five percent prestige bonus well if we look at our next competitor in the number system let's see do 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 the Ottoman Empire. Wow, we just did a campaign with you guys. They have zero prestige, a three, and a total is 32. What's our total? Our total is 30. We literally would need that prestige and we would jump up and become a second day power again and start gaining even more prestige, thus perpetuating ourselves to even greater, greater power Nessiness. Yeah, those are words, people. Those are words. So, yeah. All those things are very important to creating a very, very stable, stable government, especially, especially since we're kind of like the, uh, well, I wouldn't like to say this, we're kind of like the underdog, well, not the underdogs, we're kind of like the poor man's people, I mean, we really don't have any benefits, well, I'm basically, what I'm trying to say, people, is that the rest of the world doesn't think much of Argentina. They don't. They really don't think we're going to be able to rise to great power stacks. Okay, we got can factories. That's good. I need you guys to start producing stuff. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Yes. Start producing that as soon as possible. I bet a lot of you guys are wondering, wait, wait. Why Why is this a big deal? Because usually I never get a gun fa a gunpowder factory. I usually have to do it. You know, I have to create all this stuff myself. And so to actually have a gun factory this early on in this game, that is a good, that is a good, like, sign. And with that gun factory, that means we can actually start supporting our troops a little bit better, which means we don't have to worry about our troops are just going to randomly die every single second. And no, I'm going to keep producing this until it goes up to 1% of the population, because that's what we need to do. And gun factory is going to be made. I also really need to pay off all my loans. This, it's all, this is all becoming, I'm getting to all this stuff in a very roundabout way, but... As you guys can see, there's a big gigantic crisis between the United States and the UK, probably over um, somewhere in the Oregon region. Oregon, Oregon, Re Oregon region. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, sorry, people. I'm trying to work on a little bit. I've noticed I have a little bit of a speech impediment problem now with my R's, and so I'm trying to work on it. So if you guys, uh, I don't want to ask this, but if you guys ever notice anything of me pronouncing words wrong. I give you full reign to go in and correct me because I'm really trying, I'm really trying to correct myself so I sound more proper and more, um, you know, easier to understand. But anyways, like I was saying though, yeah, these two are going to fight over this region. Most likely what's going to happen is the United States is going to come in and destroy the Northern American, um, basically Canada. It's really not going to be much of a fight. I mean, I wish I could say it was going to, but it's really not. What's going to happen is that they're just going to be easily stomped and we're just going to see a gigantic, you know, yeah. <laughs> so let's see, Bull, our capital is now completely underneath our control, which is good. Um, let's see, has the, do, 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 has the, how fast is the degradation here? Seems like we're controlling most of these regions pretty heftily, which is good, but I have a feeling that once we get to these regions, they're not going to be able to control it that well. We have already 59k right now in the bank, which is good, so that means we can start, like, lessening our taxes. Actually, the first thing we should be doing before we start decreasing our taxes is we pay back our loans. We pay, like, loans and... oh, that, that, Why would you pay yourself? A, what? Wait, wait. I want to take my country's my country's method methodology for this because this is kind of stupid so we we be we pay back the uh, bank investors and we pay back ourselves we don't we pay back the nation that could definitely go to war with us because we don't we pay them first wow that makes me feel like this game is an idiot and i think if victoria 3 comes out the one thing they gotta fix is loans like seriously if i want to pay back the bank of mexico first that's who i'm gonna pay back first i'm not gonna pay back myself Okay, but anyways, what we have to do is I'm going to start increasing this to 55%. Because we got to get this underneath our control so that we make sure that when we actually do create bureaucrats, they actually stay. And let's see, we got 0 0.86 clerks. Uh, I can't really do clerks yet. So, yeah. Which is, like I said, this is more... If there's got to be a chill-out episode, this is more of a chill-out episode. Because we're waiting for our aggressive expansion to go down. Because we took a lot of aggressive expansion. Um, let's see, and then we also need to increase our education by a little bit. Uh, we could go to 60, I believe. 60, and 
and there we go. I mean, I'm not really caring about military right now just because, like, it's really not... Considering we're not going to war for a little bit, it's not that important, and we need more of a, um... More of a presence in the overworld. Let's see, and you guys are almost there. Just create the rest of the, uh, bureaucrats, and we just need to... Okay, yay! It seems like... The UK decided to, I mean, the United States decided to back off and say we don't own Canada. That's a good, that's a good thing, United States, because I was like, you know, we could fight over Canada, but is it worth it? I'm sorry to all my Canadian viewers out there. <laughs> okay, but anyways, we got enough money, let's repay back all our loans. Yay, we are completely loanless. And now we do, we just kind of have to, yes, as you guys can see, our economy just took a big boost because we just became a little bit unloaned for about a couple days, though. It wasn't, like, insane amounts, but it's good enough. We also need to start making sure we have allies, so, hey, Chile. Chile. Wait, would you guys actually accept an alliance if I actually got you guys? Infamy, distance, too many allies. I wouldn't say I have too many allies. I would say you have too many allies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see. Force. We need to start. We, we need to start thinking about who our next allies are in this um in these regions because we need to make sure that we don't die. Oh wow, I, I think the Peru-Bolivian alliance is going to last here, which kind of stinks. But I couldn't really do much about it because I was just like too busy just trying to do stuff. Okay, you guys get out of get out of here. Uh, let's see and increase this to like. 90, uh, 85, I believe, 81, 80, there we go, 80 should be enough to wear everything around my entire, you sh as you guys can see, some of these state officials not working anymore, it's because we're basically getting down to the wire about what we can actually do in bureaucrats, um, but with this many, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to keep up a good steady income of bureaucrats coming into our country, which is good. And now that our country has finally maximized, and now we can officially support all these troops, I am much more happy because that makes our lives a lot easier in the future. But it still doesn't make our lives easier in the future for the fact that the Peru Bolivian Alliance is still going on. Wow. Uh, yeah, Peru is going to probably lose this. Um, South Peru is a release. It really does stink because we really did need. We kind of needed Bolivia to lose this, but. It's just the way sometimes things go. Sometimes you could try to predict the AI in Victoria 2 almost to 100% of, act, you know, to 100% every single time statistic probability. But that usually never happens because they always do something different. Always. It's almost always you have some kind of newish thing happen. Oh, apparently there's a... Did the Yucatan try to revolt against Mexico? Oh, guys, you guys aren't going to win. Why would you do that? You do, if you're gonna try to free yourself from Mexico, wait until the United States tries to destroy it. Just tries to destroy the Mexicans. Then you go in and go free yourself. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, anyways, as you got, as everyone can see, we are slowly but surely starting to build up our, you know, stuff. We now got 50%. I'm gonna try to raise it to 60. Uh, 60% of our of our supply limit going up, which makes our economy look really, really nice on paper. Like, we are really looking good. And we're right now 20th in the world, but that's only because we haven't gone to war with a lot of people in a little bit. And this also means that in a couple days, we'll actually be able to feel more people. Um, expedition, classicism around, what? So I've gained five point, you know what, that's good. <laughs> and you know why? Because I gained some prestige, and that put me back up to 18. And now I'm the 8th in the world in terms of prestige, which is awesome. Still not the best, though, because I still don't have an industrial power, which kind of does stink. Um, once I'm done with all the bureaucrats, the next thing I'm definitely going to try to be producing or trying to be uh, encouraging is, industri is in a, uh, an industrial system of people who go into factories and work for a long and unpaid hours and then go home. Yeah. I should have just said laborers, but <laughs> you know what? This is me, so you get a little bit more of a more excitingness, I guess. And let's see. Um, you know, we actually do need to. Ah, dang. Okay, I'm gonna wait until land organization poor lead. Ah, rats. That kind of makes me mad that we got poor leadership. The poor leadership. Um, 
you know, thing because I thought we were doing really well. Over here in Bureaucrats, we're just kind of teching down everywhere. Probably what I'm going to have to do, though, to get the full bonus of... Ah, oh, dang, clergy, man. I'm probably going to have to look at... Probably going to have to look at, like, um... Basically, the idea is, is that you want to make sure that your highest population city of Burlovius... Oh. Oh. Huh. Apparently, Pegway wants to declare war on me right now. Um... Do I... Okay... Hmm. Didn't expect that yet. I was expecting just a little bit longer of a truce. Okay, so now we're going to basically, you know, have a couple years of us just, like, tanking our economy while we go kill Bullo Eels. And like I said, I don't even care about the rest of... I don't even care about Ungi. I, I, I always forget how to pronounce this nation's name. I'm so sorry to people who live here, but I always forget it. Um, basically, what I'm going to go do is I'm going to just ignore those 11k troops. Go finish off the... Uh, the spawn men and then start dealing with them because if I don't deal with the spawn men this could actually become a real fight and I don't really want this to become a real fight yeah <laughs> yeah there we go defeat destroy them with my superior tactics okay and basically I was I didn't really want to go to war yet because I kinda wanted my um, war infamy to go down a little bit more like I was waiting until I had a much more powerful like well, army, more powerful spheres, more powerful everything. Oh my goodness, Peru, Bolivia. Oh, that is a scary, 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 scary nation now. And I'm pretty sure they hate me, so... Hey, Colombia, would you guys pertain to being an alliance? No. Hey, Chile, I know we've had our differences in the past with just our people, but would you really would consider an alliance with me. Okay then, let's try Let's try to encourage this as much as possible because we need this alliance. So, we're going to have our troops right here. Um, how much infamy? Uh, 1%'s not too bad. I could probably do it 1%. Um, these guys, they can siege up as much as they want. I really don't care, I guess. Because I just need to make sure that we destroy these guys first. To move focus. Let's see, Rio, Nidro. I think I know how to pronounce that word, but I'm not even going to try. And let's see. We're going to take over this place right here, and then we're just going to go squash this army, then go squash that army. At that point, they're probably going to be like, yeah, we want to uh, we want to uh, declare peace, and I'm going to be like, yep. And if it's really kind of prosperous, I may just actually enforce, like, um, some type of, some type of humiliate causes belly, because that's what small... These beginning, like, little bit of prestige here and there will definitely help us. Definitely help us. So let's see. But this this war is kind of stupid because I was hoping the next time we would go to war against Paraguay was actually when we, um... Was actually when we go and conquer them completely for their total population because this 1.89 population is going to be nice to have in our borders. Like, that gives us 500k right there. Which is going to be nice. And a John Brown's last raid just happened. Okay, come on. By the way, are you our best attacking general? Because we only have two generals. And, you know, you also seem better for a lot of different reasons. I don't know why I keep you in charge. Like, okay, your organization is slightly better, but... Uh, just, I guess I'll just keep you, because I guess there isn't a definitive choice between you two. You both kind of stink. Okay, so now we just need to make sure that we hopefully win this battle... We really can't lose this battle. There we go. And now we're going to go down here. Go kill the rest of these guys. And basically we don't have to worry about. We don't have to worry about Pegway anymore. Because their main production of troops is gone. These guys. I think this is as much as they can actually raise against me. Which is cute. And let's see. Are we paying. Oh. You went from paying Mexico to now paying France. Oh my goodness. You know how idiot of a move this is. Ugh. My goodness, my people, man, my people, my people, you guys don't learn. Oi, okay, let's get some bureaucrats here too. Just keep, just keep going down the list. 23 versus 8 should, I should be able to smoke these guys pretty handily. Yep, okay, and now with them gone, we just need to conquer back this. And basically, um, 
Let's see. If I was to add the war goal before I before I end this episode, if I was to add the war goal of this, I'd gain five prestige for three infamy. Not worth it. Okay, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. This has been another great episode. I'm happy to be back and doing this campaign. And so I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.